So before we get started, I need to define a couple of terms for those who may not be familiar with them. Number one, hardening. Hardening means to make a system more secure. Number two, STIG or Security Technical Implementation Guide. A STIG is just a set of guidelines that assist us in hardening a system. Third, a SCAP tool or Security Content Automation Protocol tool is a tool that automates the scanning of our system to see if it's in compliance with a Security Technical Implementation Guide. Fourth group policy is essentially just an easy way to manage and implement policy or rules inside of a system. So today, in order to automate the hardening of our system, there's a couple different tools that we're gonna be using. So one, we're gonna be using the DOD SCAP tool, or Department of Defense Security Content Automation Protocol tool. That's gonna to audit our system and tell us what we're not in compliance with according to the STIG. We're gonna use the STIG viewer that's also from the Department of Defense that gives us a more graphical representation of the results of the scan that comes from the SCAP tool. We're also going to be using a tool from Microsoft called LGPO or Local Group Policy Object Tool that's gonna import some group policy settings that we're gonna pull from the same place that we're gonna find the SCAP tool, the STIG viewer, and all these STIGs, which is the DOD Cyber website. So now that you have a decent understanding of some definitions, the tools that we're gonna be using in the general process, let's go ahead and get into it. But before we do, I wanna point out that if you're not certain that your computer is malware free, re-image your computer. Back up everything that's critical, everything that's important, and then re-image your computer. I'll put a link in the description to the Microsoft website that'll walk you through the steps. And now that that's said, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. I'm assuming that you've already re-imaged your Windows machine or you're certain that you don't have malware. So let's go over the tools and stuff that we're gonna be downloading really quick. So first is the DoD SCAP tool. We already went over that, right? Security Content Automation Protocol. This is gonna scan your computer and audit it to see if it's in compliance with the STIGs from the DoD. So these are the different STIGs that we're gonna download. This is the group policy object that we're gonna import into our computer using this Microsoft LGPO tool. So essentially what this does is it takes the group policy that's in compliance with the STIG from the DoD website and then imports it into your computer and applies it automatically. So rather than looking at a STIG and then going one by one through all the different objects, through all the different policies, this is gonna automatically import all of it. So this is kind of the automation part of it. And right here's the STIG library and the STIG viewer. This is what we're gonna use to get a more graphical representation of where we're at in regard to compliance with the STIGs. Very first thing we're gonna do, it will, hold on, before you guys start clicking on stuff from the description. Let me just go ahead and show you kind of where we're going, okay? So DOD Cyber Stig. So this is the website, this .mil website that we're gonna be downloading all this stuff from. So very first thing we're gonna download is the SCAP tool. So that's back here on the third page, the Windows SCAP tool. We're also gonna be downloading the Microsoft Defender Antivirus Benchmark that we're gonna upload into our SCAP tool along with the firewall and the draft for Windows 11. And we're also gonna navigate over here to the group policy objects. And this right here is what we're gonna import into our computer to get us compliant with the STIGs. So we're gonna download this. We're gonna come over here to the STIG tool. This is what's gonna give us that graphical representation of where we're at. We're gonna download this one. So now we're gonna go ahead and navigate over to all these links that we have, the ones that are in the description. It's a good idea maybe to copy and paste them, throw them in a notepad, that way you have easy access. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go down the line and click on all of them. We're not gonna click on this one because I don't need to re-image my window machine. We should have all these popping up in our downloads folder. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna extract all this stuff. All right, so now all this stuff should be extracted into your downloads folder. Install the DoD SCAP tool. All right, we're gonna let that install. Now we're gonna go back and we are going to download the STIG tool. All right, so now we should have the STIG tool and the SCAP tool downloaded. So we are going to come over here to our newly downloaded SCAP tool, no problem. All right, and so First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete all these because I already have the ones that I want to upload instead of my download folder and I don't wanna look at all these. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install those benchmarks that we downloaded earlier. So we're gonna hit install, select content which to install, then we're gonna do this one. Come over here to firewall now. Now, lastly, we're gonna navigate over here to the Windows 11 
benchmark. Okay, so now that these have been imported, this is the criteria that the SCAP tool is gonna use to scan your computer. Now we're gonna go over here to the STIG viewer. So, boom. All right, so now that we have the STIG tool open, we're gonna go ahead and add the STIGs that we got from the website. So there's one, two, and three. Okay, so these have been imported. We're gonna put a pause on this and we are going to come over here back to our SCAP tool and we're gonna scan our system to see if it's in compliance with the stick. I have already implemented these things on my computer to the extent that I want to. So mine's gonna come up with a much better result than yours probably is. No worries there, that's what we have, the LGPO tool from Microsoft so that we can import this and get our system compliant. So once this is complete, there'll be a button right here that says view results. So we're gonna click view results and here we have our scores. So this is saying, are you in compliance or are you not? So you can see that I have a pretty good score right here and then a little bit off here on Windows 11. So now let's navigate over here to our scan results and let's figure out where they are. So let's right click and then show in directory. Okay, so this is where the results are. So we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna go back to our STIG viewer And we are going to create a checklist. And then we're gonna import the results from our scan. So we just copied and pasted the location. So now we're gonna come over here. And not all of these need to be imported. Not all of them can be imported. But these three that you see how it says XCCDF, that's what we wanna import, okay? Here's something that needs to be fixed says I don't have BitLocker enabled. Here's another thing, right? It says the number of allowed bad logins and tips attempts must be configured to three or less, okay? And so these are the things that I haven't changed. And this will detail everything that's either good or bad. And I really like the pie chart. So now the question is, what steps do we need to take to get our computer in compliance with the STIG? So now we're gonna navigate back over to our downloads folder and here we have the LGPO tool. Okay, this is what we're gonna use to import this right here, the group policy object that we got from the DOD website, and that is going to put us in compliance with the stakes right here, okay? So very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our command prompt. We're gonna right click and open or run as administrator. All right, so now that we have this open, we have to change directories to where the LGPO tool is. So we're gonna come over here, change directory. Now we're in C, change directory. We're gonna go to users. And now we're gonna navigate specifically to the folder that has the .exe LGPO tool. And now we have access to run the Microsoft Group Policy Importing Tool. So we're gonna type in LGPO.exe and we're gonna do slash G for group policy. And now we need to come over here to our downloads folder, navigate to the one that we wanna import. So we're gonna start with Windows 11. We're gonna to go to group policy objects. And first we're gonna try this. Put this in quotations, put two quotations here, put it right in the middle, and we're gonna hit enter. All right, and we have two other things that we need to import. We need to import the group policy for Windows Defender Firewall and Windows Defender Antivirus. So let's lgpo.exe, and you can tab some of this stuff out so that it doesn't take as long. And we're gonna do slash G space. We're gonna put our quotations right there, and we're gonna navigate back here to our file folder where we have the group policy for the firewall. All right, we're gonna copy this. Right click and paste, and let's see if she'll take. All right, cool deal. And we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna do our antivirus this time. Two quotations. Where is she at? There she is. All right, copy this. All right, now we're back here. We're gonna right click, close off this quotation mark and enter. So now all of these group policy objects have been imported to our machine. So if you weren't compliant before, you should be compliant now. Let's go ahead and do GP update again. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the SCAP tool and we're gonna rescan our machine. 
All right, let's scan again. All right, so we have the results. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the Stig Viewer. We're gonna exit out of this particular checklist and we're gonna create a new checklist. So we're gonna create a checklist from the Mark Stigs that we have and now we're gonna import, let's highlight these, put them up, and then boom, okay? So now you have your checklist and it should be a lot of green rather than red. All right, so that concludes the automated or kind of automated Windows hardening. If you like the video, hit like, subscribe, turn on alerts, and thanks for watching.